Hello and welcome to the Transformation Guide on Nemesis Primal here from the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Worlds Collide 4-pack. So to jump straight into this, you can start by removing all of his accessories and stuff. And I, I feel like this is a really simplistic transformation that could have had more to it to make it a little bit more cohesive in its alt mode. But... I didn't design it, so I have no choice. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's it's a pretty simplistic transformation here. You can start by pushing up the feet here, just like so. They're kind of on like a like a tur or like a piston type thing in here that'll just kind of go up into there when you push it up. So just kind of do that. And then there are two joints on the knees here. There is the one I'm bending right now, and there is this back one here that will unhook. You want to unhook that back one there, bring it back, and then using the actual knee joint to push it down to kind of get that kind of a look there, if you can see that. And this is the part that I think that they could have done something different with. I, I just don't really think that this looks good in, in the gorilla mode. But so once you got that done... You can go ahead and spin his waist around. And this piece has, there's, it's kind of hard to show down into here, but there's a tab and a hole down in here. You literally just push it down. There's, it, there's no lining it up. It's already lined up. It's just on a hinge. You can come here and push the polderons down. They will just close over the teal sections there. Then you want to pull the butterfly joints out like this to kind of give you some clearance to get into here and just rip this whole back section out like this. Spin this chest piece around to reveal the gorilla chest. You can then push the turrets or the, the shoulder cannons in side there. Pull this whole section out. It's on a slider joint. Spin it around. Lift the gorilla head like so. Spin it around 180 and just kind of like line up this little panel up in here. You don't want it all wonky like that. You want it lined up like that. It's kind of hard to show what I'm saying there. but And then you put the gorilla head just down like that. Push this back and clip this into here. Make sure to pull out the butterfly joints like this when you clip it in. That will kind of allow it to go in easier. And then you can come to the back here, pull this out, straighten it, spin it around, and just push it down. To my knowledge, that does not peg into anything, and that also does not sit flush. This is kind of what my complaint was about how I feel like they could have done more here. This whole lower body section just seems unfinished to me. But there we have him in his purple evil gorilla oh, <laughs> evil gorilla mode looking pretty good to get him back into robot mode though you can just pull the toes back down straighten that joint and bring this down there is actually a once you get it there there's a tab right there that will go into a hole right down under here and it'll kind of click into place so straighten this all out over here Click that into place. You can then take this section, bring it up, spin it around, and this tab here will go into this slot right up here. Like so. You can then pull the polderons up. Like so. Spin his waist 180. You can disconnect this piece here. I mean, you don't really have to, but it, it is part of the transformation. It's not going to hinder anything if you forget that, though. Uh, up here, pull the butterfly joints out and get this whole backpack section out. This part's probably the most difficult part here. You're going to want to pull this out here and just kind of make some clearance here, get down into here and pull these cannons up and out. This part is only difficult because of the clearance and maybe it's just because I have big fingers or something but it's not the easiest thing to get down into there but once you have those up you can just spin the gorilla head around 
And just like the other way, make sure that this piece is all straight or it won't really fit in right. And put push the head down. You can then spin this whole section around and collapse it back in. Pull the butterfly joints out. And, ooh, actually here, flip this piece around. <laughs> then pull the butterfly joints out and clip it into place. Then you can pose these however you want. You have the option here, you can push in on this little square here and that'll pull out his little uh, wrist cannons there. And then you can pose him to your liking with his weapons and such. But there he is in his robot mode. I hope you found this guide informative. I hope it helped you transform your Nemesis Primal or Optimus Primal. I, I'm guessing they're exactly the same. I don't have the Optimus Primal. but So if you enjoyed that, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And stick around for part two of this four-pack review.